Metro Detroit festivals, tree lighting, and all around Christmas hit list specifically for December. This is in no particular order, just an order that I came up with. My name is Mike Perna, local real estate agent here in Metro Detroit. Hit the subscribe button, stay notified on anything and everything happening in and around Metro Detroit. We drop videos each and every week. So we're gonna start off strong with the Magic of Lights drive through Pine Knob at Clarkston, Michigan, running November 17th through December 30th. This one you can enjoy from your car, which I love by the way, because I love to stay warm. Driving through a route filled with breathtaking light displays that capture the essence of the holiday season. This year, the event has added the exclusive attraction, the Light Up Dino Wand. That unique item features three different light modes and colors, adding the extra layer of fun to the experience. It's important to note that the Light Up Dino Wand is available only for pre-purchase, so you gotta go online to get it. The hours of operation for the Magic Lights are from 5.30 to 10 p.m. on Sundays through Thursdays, and 5.30 to 11 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Tickets for this event start at $17.50 per vehicle, so definitely clown car that thing and get as many people as you can in there like a party bus. Next up, we've got the 1001 Winter Wonders event at the 1001 Woodward Building in Detroit, operating on Thursdays and Fridays from 4 to 8 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 4 p.m. This is an interactive exhibit with a free outdoor pathway adorned with dozens of sparkling trees, stunning igloos, and even a life-size gingerbread house. The highlight of the event is the opportunity to have free photos with Santa at his cabin, creating a really perfect moment for family memories. The experience is inclusive, incorporating sensory adaptations to ensure that everyone can enjoy the festive atmosphere in a very comfortable environment. Visitors are encouraged to dress warmly because as lines for Santa will extend outdoors. It says on the website it may extend outdoors. Trust me guys, it will extend outdoors. I've done this one before. This is a free event at the 1001 Woodward Building. A wonderful holiday adventure bringing the winter wonderland indoors for everybody to enjoy. One that's near and dear to my heart because I just went to the opening night of it, the Big Bright Light Show in Rochester, Michigan. It's an enchanting event which features a breathtaking display of over a million lights, holiday lights, covering all of the buildings right in downtown Rochester. The display is going to be lit every evening from 5 p.m. to midnight, inviting people to experience the magic of the holiday season in a vibrant, festive atmosphere. Now, it runs right up and down Main Street in Rochester. The Big Bright Light Show is not just a visual treat, but also a really good opportunity for a leisurely evening drive through the beautifully lit downtown. And then also during the event, most of the stores in the area are going to remain open until 9 p.m. instead of the usual 5 or 6, giving you a much better shopping experience and loving it, a much better local shopping experience. The holiday stroll at Old Brook Canterbury Village in Lake Orion, Michigan is set to create a festive atmosphere from November 22nd right to December 23rd. Now this event is occurring only on select dates including December 1st to 3rd, 8 to 10, 15 to 17 and 21 to 23. Hopefully all that went up on the screen. I didn't edit the video, but hopefully that all went up on the screen. So this starts every evening at 5 p.m. and offers a really picturesque, like Norman Rockwell style Christmas path, flying with glowing lampposts and lights and holiday scenes, which is great for photo opportunities. Visitors are going to be just immersed in the holiday sphere with live characters on the streets, enjoying treats from food trucks and watching holiday movies and classics on the Seapod patio. Admission to the holiday stroll is $18 per ticket and parking's available for five bucks. Also, those that are looking for a discount code to save, use the coupon code OCM23 online to get two bucks off each ticket for the Friday and the Sunday strolls. This one I don't miss any year is the Detroit Zoo's Wild Lights event, which is a festive spectacle that transforms the entire zoo into this magical winter wonderland from November 24th right through January 7th. It's a beloved holiday tradition, which is renowned for its nearly 500 stunning displays featuring millions of LED lights that illuminate trees and buildings and sculptures. The event takes place on select weeknights and almost every Sunday with hours extended from 5 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. on most Fridays and Saturdays and until 9 p.m. on Sundays. So new and enhancing experiences await the visitors this year, such as the Field of Light, where lights dance and change colors to the holiday music, and the Underwater Trail, offering an immersive oceanic experience. So another notable addition this year is the Environmental Impact Art Exhibition inside the Ford Education Center, showcasing art from 19 artists highlighting the human impact on the environment. The zoo, as you probably know, is a big supporter of fighting climate change, and they try to educate the public whenever possible on the topic. The Enchanted Trail is also enhanced this year, leading visitors through a pathway illuminated by trees and animals accompanied by a fairy guiding the way. Tickets for the Wild Lights Zoo exhibit run between $17 and $25 depending on day of the week and if it's a kid or an adult. Next up, I've got Home for Holidays at the Ford House. It's a newer winter experience that blends the best features of several years of Christmas programming from the past 
into this event. It offers visitors a unique opportunity to explore the Ford House estate in like a new light with the Christmas lights and all decked out in its garb. The grounds are going to be beautifully illuminated with glistening white lights for an evening walk, enhancing the already captivating atmosphere and grounds of the estate. So visitors can get a self-guided tour or get a guide for the tour of the main residence's first floor where they're going to hear stories about the estate's rich history, observe the understated elegance inspired by Eleanor Ford's tastes and wishes. Additionally, guests can enjoy complimentary hot chocolate as they exit the main residence and enter the path with options for adults, of course, to, you know, spike their cocoa for a nominal fee. It might take that one up. Admissions are set at $20 for member adults, $10 for member children, or if you're a non-member like myself, is $30 for public adults and $15 for children. Children under 12 months can also enter for free. This is a really cool chance to create a new holiday tradition for friends and families because they decorate this thing every year and they keep on changing it, which I love. The Holly Dazzle at the Michigan Renaissance Festival, located at 12600 Dixie Highway in Holly, Michigan, offers a magical experience from November 24th to the 31st. It's really, really unique. It's a three-quarter mile out Door trail adorned with more than a dozen lighted Christmas scenes, creating a magical winter wonderland right within the Renaissance Festival village itself, which means that you've got people dressed as if it was like 400 years ago. So the event is designed to warm the hearts on cool winter nights, providing a festive and joyous atmosphere with twinkling lights and holiday music. Visitors to Holiday Dazzle can enjoy various attractions along the trail. There's also an opportunity to purchase delightful treats from Santa's gift shop and sweet shop. Offerings include creamy fudge, sweet fruit bread, spicy nuts, old world cookies, and kettle corn. Also, Santa's going to be available to the guests to snap photos, adding to the experience. The event runs from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays and 5 to 9 p.m. on Sundays, regardless of weather conditions. Tickets for the Holiday Dazzle are available online with adult tickets priced at $22, children's tickets priced at $9, and free entry for children four and under. There's also a combined ticket option for one adult and one child at $22. Conveniently, parking is free, making it accessible for families to attend and enjoy the holiday even more. Next up, I've got Walk of Trees in Plymouth. It's a festive and picturesque stroll for a perfect day night or a family outing. This year, they've got over 75 trees, each uniquely decorated by local families or clubs or businesses, creating a really cool display of lights and decorations. The trees lining the walkway of Kellogg Park are lit up 24 hours a day, providing a really cool experience both day and night. Although, I will put this little caveat on it, even though they're lit up, I would not necessarily recommend going and seeing them at three in the morning or two in the morning. Just personal opinion, you can, doesn't mean you should. In addition to the visual spectacle of the Walk of Trees, visitors can also enjoy the shopping and the dining and all the experience of charming downtown Plymouth. During the Christmas season, Santa will greet families at his house in Kellogg Park. The Walk of Trees is not just a display of holiday lights, it's a beloved annual tradition the entire community comes out for. Next up is Meadowbrook Hall and Meadowbrook Campus right at Oakland University. It's a self-guided event. It's great for all ages, so it features both the unique light show on the grounds to turn the whole world into the like, world of magic illumination, but also the Meadowbrook House, which is also known as the Castle of Michigan. So on the self-guided indoor tour, there are over 50 magnificent Christmas trees. There are flickering fireplaces and a myriad of lights. The Holiday Walk is an exploration of the Dodge and Wilson family's winter traditions and activities offering a glimpse into the history of one of America's largest historic house museums. That's a 110 room, 88,000 square foot mansion providing a unique backdrop for the holiday season. Special activities and events are part of the holiday walk experience. Kids can enjoy the candy adventure searching for hidden sweets throughout the hall. And there's a mailbox of the North Pole in Danny's cabin for letters to Santa. The event also features Santa Saturdays where visitors can meet Santa and his reindeer and other special events such as the Starlight Stroll and Holiday High Tea. Ticket prices vary with admission being roughly $20.50 for adults and about eight bucks for kids aged three to 12. The event runs rain, snow, or shine ensuring the holiday spirit's alive regardless of the weather. Holiday Lights in Greenfield and Village. So this runs the 1st to the 3rd, 8th to the 10th, 14th to 17th, 19th to 23rd, and 26th to 28th, and is set to be the best holiday scene yet in Metro Detroit. So this runs from 6.30 to 10 p.m. nightly and transforms the village into a festive wonderland, complete with the smells of roasting chestnuts and bonfires and the sounds of carolers and fiddlers. There's ice skating with a skate rental. You gotta rent the skates or bring them. There's historic model T rides, horse drawing wagon rides. Also, you can enjoy homes and shops and holiday vignettes presented in period attire. Each evening culminates in a fireworks finale with a sing-along making it a really memorable experience. And part of the reason why it's my favorite, because I love fireworks. You wanna get tickets as fast as possible 
possible. And also, if you want to eat, you want to buy the dining tickets in advance to ensure that you get a seat and you're not just stuck in line for an hour, hour and a half. So those are my favorite things to do, my favorite light shows to see in and around Metro Detroit. I want to hear about yours. Let me know down below anything I missed, anything that I should add on, anything I should be doing a video on. My name is Mike Perna, local real estate agent. I'd love to hear from you. If you're looking to purchase a home or sell a home, shoot me a call, shoot me a text. I will be sure to honor the transaction, honor the relationship, and take care of you the best that I know how. Thank you again and see you on the next video.